Hey everybody, it's Josh Inspires. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft server and Minecraft 1.16 with the new Nether update that came out today uh, of the recording in this video. So uh, first step, I'll just get right into it, is you want to go to this link which is on the Minecraft website and it's uh, where you download the server. I'll leave a link in the description so you can click on it and so you just download that. There we go. It's verifying the file and it'll ask you if you want to keep it. You just want to hit keep. There you go. You now have the server.jar. So now you want to drag this anywhere. It really doesn't matter, but I would like to drag it to the desktop. So now you have your little server. Uh, you have your server file. You want to right click, create a new folder. You can name this ser uh, folder whatever you want. So I'm going to name it 1.16 server. There we go. And then you want to drag the server.jar into Minecraft. There you go. So. Now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and run this with Java. So it's a server.jar, it's a jar file, which means it runs with Java. So just go ahead and double click it. So it'll do a bit of running in the background, and then it will create this folder called logs, and it will create the server file and the EULA file. You want to open this EULA file, file uh, with Notepad, or really anything, it doesn't matter, I use Notepad. And you want to change this to true. You want to change that false to true, you want to exit out, you want to save it, and then you want to open the server again. There we go. There we go. So you would get this little, uh, this little uh, pop-up with the server, and it's going to be saying stuff like preparing spawn area. So this is your server console. This will be, um, be what actually runs the server, and after it's done preparing the spawn area, yeah, there you go. So now uh, I'm going to type slash stop to stop the server because we have a, something else to do. And that is to get logbee and Hamachi, which I will leave a link to in the description. But you want to go to vpn.net. So if you go to vpn.net, just hit download now and install Hamachi. I've already installed it, so I already have Hamachi open, which is this little icon. So you'll get something that looks like this. You'll get certain uh, networks and everything. So you'll get Hamachi and you want to open it and it'll look like this, uh, except it won't have any networks. These are networks of Minecraft servers I have. So now what you want to do is you want to click on network. You want to click on create a new network. It'll open up this little pop-up. You want to just name it whatever you want. So I'm going to actually name it whatever you want because it doesn't matter what you name it. You just want to type in a password for it, and uh, this is the password that people will use to join your Logme and Hamachi server, so then you just create it. Uh, someone's already taken that name, so I will just name it 1.6, oh wait, uh, Minecraft, Minecraft 16 server. Oh my god, there we go. And someone already took that, MC, there we go. So now it created my server, and uh, it's called Minecraft 16 Server MC. So then what you want to do for your friends to join your server is you want them to just download Logme and Hamachi, hit join an existing network. They want to type in whatever your network name is, Minecraft Server MC, along with the password that you've made up for it. So you can literally make it anything. I can't join this server because I'm already a member of it because I created it. But yeah, after that, your friends will now be able to join. Uh, they will be in your Hamachi server, and they will be able to join your Minecraft server. And you're basically done. But now I can. Uh, now we can actually go ahead and run the server, and it will work. Uh, so now you, I'm just going to load up Minecraft on 1.16. There we go. So I am now in Minecraft on 1.16. I'm going to go to multiplayer. Um, I'm going to direct connect. You can also add a server, it doesn't matter. So the IP you will actually be using to join your own server is going to be on Hamachi. You want to open it. You want to right click up here and you want to hit copy IPv4 address. That's the address that when your friends are in your Hamachi server will be used to join your server. And also to join the server it also has to be on. So I'm going to start the server by clicking here. There we go. Preparing the spawn area. And there we go, it is almost done. And there we go, it is, now the server is running, so I can 
put in my IPv4 address, join my server, and there we go. It's going to log me into my server. As you can see on the left, you can see that I am now uh, logged in as a player. It shows that I have joined the game, and now you can actually op yourself, which makes you an operator of the server and allows you to use commands. And as you can see, I am now on my server. Everything's working. It's going pretty well. So now I'm going to change my game mode to uh, creative so I can show you uh, that this is the nether update. So if I get obsidian, uh, well, you can see the crying obsidian. I'm just going to grab this obsidian. And there we go. And if I just need a flint and steel, light up this portal, hop on through. There we go. I am now in the nether. And as you can see, there we go. It is the Minecraft nether update. I will uh, full screen so you can see better. Yep, but there, here we go. This is the Minecraft nether update. As you can see, we've got all the new stuff that is included. You see the pig goblins. Oh, I guess these are zombie pigmen. They look so much different. Okay, but yeah, so there you go. That's how you make a Minecraft server in 1.16. For everyone who just wanted the basics of that, you can go ahead and stop right there. But if you wanted to know how to give your server more RAM so it runs faster, then I will show you how to do that really quickly. So what you want to do is you want to right click, create a new text document. You want to open the text document. You want to go back and uh, to the Minecraft server and you want to copy this command. You don't have to copy the no GUI part, but you can. You want to paste it in and this basically tells the server how much RAM you want to give it. And also you want to delete this and this. There we go. So it should just say server.jar. And you can give it as much, this is megabytes, so now it's at 1,024 megabytes, which is equal to one gigabyte. So I'm just going to give it 5,000 uh, megabytes, which is close to around five, me uh, five gigabytes. And I change it to 5,000. Now I want to hit save as, I want to change this to all files, and you want to change this to, you want to name it start.bat. And then you save it, and it creates this little gear icon of a file you want to just double click that it will then start the server with five gigabytes of ram so now it will run faster and can handle more players and there you go so this is how you give the server more ram so it runs faster as you can see it prepares the spawn area faster and yeah there you go uh, that's basically it you just got to follow this simple tutorial and you can have your own minecraft server and if this uh, command prompt is not opening up for you, uh, then that means that you don't have the right version of Java installed. But if you don't want to worry about that and you just want your server to run, you can always just double click the jar file and it'll run your server with one gigabyte of RAM and your friends can still join it. You can still join it. Everything will work as you can see here. It does not matter. So you don't have to give it more RAM. It'll work just like this. Other than that, you're good to go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot if you could leave a like and a comment. And yeah, I hope you guys have fun with your Minecraft server. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.